video will recap Unit 3, Theatre, Stage and Screen for our Leisure Unit. So your starter for today is to form your own judgement. What was the best form of entertainment? The medieval miracle plays, the early modern theatres or the modern television? This is your opinion and I would like you to explain why. So if you're on a live lesson, please chuck this in the chat box. If you are on a show my homework lesson, just pop it down on your paper. So pause the video, date, title and task. Okay, so we'll just do a quick recap of the three eras for you. So we've got the medieval era from 500 to 1500. And we looked at the Viking sagas. We looked at the uh, way that they were used to showcase their warrior traits, to talk about their family history, their local legends. Uh, they do it in a great hall surrounded by fire and all their friends then at the bottom you've got the miracle and mystery plays as well as the mummers plays which were the silent ones so most medieval plays that survive are about religion uh, they're performed on pageant wagons which is like a fold down stage uh, and these actors would travel around the country performing then the early modern era is absolutely crucial for theatre, stage and screen because this is where we get purpose built buildings for the first time, uh, such as theatres. The first theatre being called the Theatre in 1576. Then in the modern era, you've got a variety of things to be talking about. You've got the uh, halls and glee clubs. You've got the flea pit cinemas, uh, and of course you've got changes in technology that leads to computer games as well as things like the internet and CD-ROMs. So now it is your turn to have a go at summarising the key information in one of our tables. So along the top you've got the three eras and along to the left you've got the categories you need to answer. So the first one is who watched? So who watches plays, theatres, TV, you know the drill. What kinds of things were popular? So you can go in a lot of detail for this one. You can see how it's a bigger section. Where did they go to see them? So in the modern era, it's not just purpose-built buildings. It can be streamed onto devices. You know, why did people go and watch? Uh, do not say, because it's fun. Like, yes, obviously, that's why it's in the leisure unit. You can think about money, accessibility, new technologies, uh, context. In the medieval era, everyone's religious. In the modern era, Charlie Chaplin was popular in the Great Depression because he's funny. Uh, and finally, how were they made? So what was involved in producing uh, the kind of things that were popular? So you're going to need a whole A4 page for this. Um, and it needs to be very, very detailed. It's probably going to take you about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so here's some of the ideas I came up with. So we'll go down. So medieval era, pretty much everyone would watch the miracle plays, mum's plays, or listen to the Viking sagas. But the rich would watch in homes for a fee. Uh, and if you're poor, they would go to taverns or outside where the pageant wagons would be. And they would do these to learn about their histories, learn about religion, uh, stories about saints' lives who they would have grown up with. Uh, and it's different every time because a lot of it's improvised. So it's not like, oh, I've seen it. I don't need to go and see it again. It's different every time. Uh, it's performed through actors, also known as guises, who travel the country, so weren't always around. So it would be a event rather than just, oh, I'll do it today. It's when they come into town, you go and do this. Uh, it's also easy to see if you had money. And even then, you could just run away before they tried to take any money off of you. In the early modern era, again, everyone would go to the theatres. Uh, you've got plays like Shakespeare. I'm sure you're familiar with lots of his work. Uh, but it even gets to the point where Elizabeth I bans the Robin Hood play because it gives out quite a negative message. 
You've got theatres. Uh, the theatre was the first one in 1576. The rich would pay more to sit at the top, and the poor would pay one penny for a standing ticket. Uh, theatres also had to be built outside of the city walls in London due to a rich-poor divide, as well as concerns about disease and crime. And they did this because it was to utilise their spare time, so they spent much of their time farming. It was also a good form of propaganda for the government. Uh, there were popular and famous plays, and it's also cheap. Uh, it's easy if you live nearby in London, uh, but there are loads to choose from. And they stay in one spot, so it's easy to find. So you can now suddenly say, oh, fancy a play tonight, and just go down to the theatre. Through the modern era, uh, again, it's everyone, but sometimes it's only those with disposable income, particularly if we look at the early start of television. You've got music halls, glee clubs, cinema, TV, internet streaming, and theatres. Where do they go to access these specific buildings, like the halls, the clubs, the cinemas? But you can also stream anywhere, so your house, shops, park, if you really want to. Uh, and you can even record stuff now, so you don't even have to be there when the television is on. You can just record it and watch it later. Why do people go to these things? Uh, the rich would go to the theatre uh, and watch all the popular plays. The poor would go to music halls and bring female company to show off wealth, clothing and women. Uh, they go to the cinema because it's new inventions for the first time and it kind of became a trend, so to follow the crowd. Also because of new technologies, particularly Wi-Fi. Uh, and how do you access it? Well, you can go there physically, you can physically go to the theatre or the cinema, or you can download it as and when you fancy. Okay, so this is the third one of these that you've done, so you should be quite well versed in it. Um, so again, it's a 16 marker plus three extra ma marks for SPAG. So you need to outline how theatre, stage and screen has changed from the year 500 to present. And your structure is in blue. So each blue box is paragraph and the white boxes are stuff you need to talk about. You've got a short introduction that briefly summarises the change. And again, if you go down your table, then you can get the description but then if you go along you can get the change so you've got your short introduction then your medieval where you tell me about the medieval era you've got the early modern era for your next paragraph where you have to tell me all about theatres then you also need to compare it to medieval it's crucial that you make sure you focus on change this is what was letting you guys down last time and then for your modern paragraph, again, you need to give me some specific detail about cinemas, TV, music halls, and again, compare the change to medieval and early modern. And again, use your table, go down for the description and across for the change. And then your judgment, you need to really, really shove it in our faces that you understand what change is. So how has who goes changed? How has where they go changed? How has what they want to watch changed? Be really, really specific. Uh, and you're going to need to email this to your teachers, please. Uh, and they may want to teach us, sir, it. So if you could just put in the description, teach us, sir, when you send over the email. And of course, don't forget your show my homework quiz three times.